Hey, hey, this is Copy Who for the first time in 4K, and I am your host, Paul the Producer. How's that look to you? It's a different look. The color tones are very different, and I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I really like the, the updated look. I feel like things are more lush. There's more resolution, okay? But let me just do an A-B test for you, okay? So this is with the blue backlight here. This is without the blue backlight. This is with the blue black light, backlight, <laughs> the blue backlight, and this is without the blue backlight. I like the uniformity of this color here, but then, then when it comes, the blue hits the red table, I'm like, I don't know, man. I sincerely do not know. Ah, but here I am once again. I did record a show on Friday, and it was it, there were technical issues, and I was like, "Fuck it," because there were um, there were some definite technical errors that I made. One of them was I didn't turn certain lights on, and another one was there are these cables up underneath this TV here that had come loose, and they were just dangling in between these two TVs, and I didn't notice that at all until after the recording was done. Plus, I hated the way I was dressed. And part of it, I just wasn't thinking straight. I wasn't in a in a normal state of mind. And so I was like, fuck this. I'm not going to put it up. So there is a lost episode out there of Copy Who. Uh, I did upload it to YouTube, but it is marked as private. And I just don't want to have it up. So here I am in full HD. And I'm kind of pleased about it. I, I, I was like worried about how this... it's. It's causing the file size of this video recording to be over double what it was before. It was just underneath five gigabytes, and now I'm estimating after I record for a full hour here, and this will be the first hour-long test of doing a recording at 4K and seeing if the system can handle it. It should be able to. If it fucking doesn't, I'm going to be like, WTF, mofo. Uh, what are the upgrades for with the supremely powerful computer if that doesn't work? But it'll be about 12 gigabytes, I'm anticipating. So it'll be about two and a half times as much uploaded. I want to see how it looks on YouTube. I might not go full 4K. I might go, what is it, 1440? I might do that. But I also noticed when you encode this into an MP4 that there is some kind of compression that takes place. So there is a, a little bit of degradation of the final product, which I don't know if I like. I want to see if I can work that out. I think if I record it to a movie file, it might be fully lossless. So let me just get this. I should have done this before. That's what they do on, on Jimmy Kimmel. They get your shit ready before. And let's see over here like this, this right here, like this, it's not symmetrical on there to me. And I'm, I, I'm bugging out. I'm bugging out. You know why? Because I, I was looking at this uh, the other day, some of the jackets I wore last week. I'm always, I'm like persnickety about one one side not being equal with the other side, but I, I gotta look cool. I gotta feel cool. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go into the suave character right now, and I will keep those reading glasses nearby because I, I might actually put them on when when a little clip I have of a famous Hollywood dude, Richard Dreyfus, I have a clip from Richard Dreyfus that I want to play, and I might be imitating him, and he's wearing some reading glasses at the end of his nose, and I might be imitating him a little bit. So, what's next? I didn't sleep so well last night because um, I did go back to bed after being up for a while, and it was um, due to... I woke up about a little after three with some severe renal pain on the right, and I'm wondering if it's because... I was too sedentary last night for what hours before I went to bed. And then, of course, you're sedentary in bed, too. So I wondered if my circulation sucking ass caused my fucking kidney to lock up on me. Sometimes I have renal pain and it's not pleasant and it doesn't make me happy. What do you? Oh, yeah. Renal pain makes me happy. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But uh, I would retell a dream uh, from last night, but I don't even remember what they were at this time, although I did have dreams. I did dream, actually, that I was I had to go pee, and I dreamt that I was peeing, sitting on a toilet in the dark, peeing, looking at a TV screen like this one. I felt like I was sitting in front of this TV, 
And when I got up and I had finished peeing, a friend was lying on the ground, uh, sleeping. It's like we were having a slumber party or something. And and over uh, on the side of the room there was her husband sleeping on the couch. And that was after me peeing. And then I woke up having to pee fiercely. And I hate having to wait or wake up and pee fiercely. I don't function well in the middle of the night. Uh, d- strictly because I get up to pee and then all of a sudden my mind starts going and I start thinking about all my problems in life and life in general and the state of the world and all of a sudden my head is beaming with thoughts and I don't know how to go back to sleep which sucks ass ass it really sucks ass metaphorically of course it's not really sucking literal ass that wouldn't make any sense to suck literal ass <laughs> <laughs> to refer to it as literally sucking ass. <clears throat> so I am one of these sticklers with grammar. I want to use the grammar correctly. I- I'm just um, loving the way this is looking. So as I'm sitting here, I am personally feeling like it looks so good. This is such a nice image I see on the screen. And it'll only it'll only uh, be determined for sure, like tonight after I come home, from probably going to the Kava bar in the afternoon, I will play this on YouTube, and I will see how much I like it on my big screen TV in the other room. Of course, I view it once. I, I mean, so it's not as much vanity as you think when I'm watching it. It's like, I always want my shit to be better. So if I'm recording karaoke, I don't watch it in a vain way going, I'm so great. I actually watch it in a very critical way, like, fuck! I said this word wrong. I I was flat on that pitch. I'm I'm a perfectionist, like I've said on here before. And if you're not a perfectionist, when something can be perfect, something's fucked up with you. And that's for sure. Um, I am in the midst of reading a new book. Very good book. Started reading this a couple days ago. The dude's name is God Saad. And it's basically about how, um, I would say it's not about, he's not calling it the woke mind virus, but it's basically like people can infect other people with their stupid lack of common sense and even undermine the truth by thinking that their feelings supersede the importance of the truth. It's a book about free speech. In a lot of ways, um, some of the sentiments he's talking about mirror this book right here. So here's what I wanted to do. I wanted to come on here and be like this. And I just wanted to have these up there in full HD and go, these two books, I recommend these two books. The Rape of the Mind by Justus, Justus Merlu, Jewish author right here. And The Parasitic Mind by God Saad. And he is also a Jewish author. No one can ever accuse me of not liking good Jews. These are good Jewish people who wrote that. Yes, sirree, I said it. I do appreciate some Jewish people. Is there a problem with that? Uh, So in some cases in the world, depending on where you are, it can literally, and it has literally become illegal. The truth has become illegal. So what a shame that is, right? So if you criticize certain things... Even if your criticisms are true, I don't even feel comfortable bringing it up. That's the fucking point of this book. But if I bring up some of these things specifically on YouTube, I run the risk of having this channel banned or something. It's literally that screwed up. So it's about freedom of speech. It's about being able to speak your mind, whether it's despicable what you're saying or not, and and not, and not being not being oppressed by the government for just speaking the truth. So you can cite scientific studies and it doesn't even matter if they're true. So he addresses all kinds of topics in this book, which I really like. I knew that um, a long time ago, I thought I probably would enjoy that book. And then my cousin got this book and for some reason he got some free ones because he bought a certain number of books, I think. So he gave this to me and I knew I'd like it and I'm into it. I'm reading it, and I I can already tell he's the kind of author I will not have trouble getting through uh, a book with uh, because he's so fucking spot on about the truth. Love this guy. I already loved him on uh, reading him on Twitter because he's, he's a man. 
I think we're kind of kindred spirits in a certain way because when people are extremely stupid and saying stupid things, instead of just like outright attacking people, he's very sarcastic. And so that's a man from uh, the same world that I live in where, you know, we have so much overlapping in that way. He does say, though, listen to me, God. His name is God. That's funny. Hey, God. God said, damn it. <laughs> sod? God sod? God sod, damn it. Uh, no, so I'm not really sinning because his name is God, G-A-D, not G-O-D. But it sounds the same. So am I sinning? Is that a sin? I don't know. I like this man, though. Um, but what he says is, he said... He's a man of the regular people, and I don't know that he is, because I've responded to him a million times on Twitter with some kind of remark of my own, and I realize you have a big following, and you can't respond to everyone, but I've responded enough to where you could at least like something I said along the way. You could at least throw some shun sunshine on me. Ryan Stone has done that for me. For God's sake, Rolo has done that for me. Just a like on Twitter. Help validate me, my feelings. Validate my feelings. It should be illegal for you not to validate my feelings by liking some response I give to you on Twitter. <laughs> I knew it. I'm getting silly. Um, this is a very good thing because I was, I was down and out before I started this, and it's the same old rigmarole. It's like, can I do this? Oh, gosh, I don't know if I can do this. I feel like sneezing right now, now do you, though. Do you know that? Is this going to happen? Is this sneeze going to happen? Let's see if I can look at the light and make it happen. Oh, boy. Brother, yeah. Oh. Oh, I lost it. Damn. Damn you! That was real. I thought I was going to sneeze. Maybe it'll come back, huh? <laughs> that was a moment. That was a real moment. Uh, let's see. I want to fill my water bottle and do the normal things I do. Don't be dissing. Yes, sir. That's slick. I'm telling you, every time it's slick, I'm going to say it's slick. You can be like, dude, that's redundant. Why do you keep saying the same thing? Because if it's fucking cool, it's fucking cool. And if you don't like it, you need to shut the fuck up and scram. It's in HD now. So everything's slick, it rules. And uh, as to perfection, I got rid of this fucking Mr. Spock over here. No more Mr. Spock. Now I can walk through here and not bump into the Mr. Spock in the dark. I'm telling you, I'm not kidding. That was happening all the time. And it drove me batshit crazy. So finally, I covered up this thing with something else, like a black curtain type thing. I am. I'm rubbing my nose. You got a problem with that? Some people would go to break, but I'm rubbing my nose on purpose. And you can be like, what the hell is he doing? You know, you never saw that on The Tonight Show, I bet. And then the finale, boop! <laughs> I throw it right at the camera. All right, here we go. My aqua, okay? I am going to put some CBD in it. Haven't had any CBD for a couple days. I don't know that I feel any difference, but this is a markedly smaller dose than I was getting before. Let's, let's go like this and do it up close like that. In, in HD, I don't know. It'll be, will it be out of focus? Let's see. Boop, boop, boop. You see the ring light in there. I don't, I don't know that I like that very much. I do see the ring light in there. And I still don't have my stirring sticks, but I keep seeing these stirring sticks in the in the kava bar. And I feel like saying, can I buy some of these stirring sticks from you so that I don't have to buy them from, from fucking uh, Amazon and they'll take days to come. And by the way, the ones that come in from Amazon, I can't, I want to like have the exact same sticks that you have in the kava bar. Because I just feel like that's cool. Okay, so I had that mad sneeze that almost came over me, and now my nose is watering a little bit. What's up with that? I mean, seriously, that was going to be an epic sneeze. Uh-uh. Must move on. I'm actually acquiring a taste for this, even though the, the essence of the taste is really shitty of this CBD. Let me see. The, the focus is different on this HD. Do you know that? So when I go up close to it like that... The other cameras had more of this range of, and, and so I'm going to keep fucking around with the focus. I was a little worried that the focus was not so good when I did this, but I'm, I'm delighted with the way it looks. It looks like the color tones are more natural and true to, li true to life. See, so when I watch this back, I hear myself make a verbal mistake like that, true to life, instead of true to life. And that's one of those things where I'm like, fuck, 
Pay attention to how you're speaking, Paul. Don't make mistakes like that. Sometimes uh, I was talking about a dream I had uh, on the last episode that went up on Wednesday, and I was talking about a dream where a man, a, a girl wanted a man to buy her a $900 dress, but instead I said him, and so I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, that's a permanent mistake. So if anyone ever goes back to watch it, they hear how I made that mistake, and it's like forever and ever when it's on tape. And that's the cool thing about recording music is that I record it, and when I'm recording a guitar part, it's like, oh, I made a mistake, start over, do it again, because it's there permanently, and I don't like that it's there permanently. I sincerely do not. I sincerely do not. But it is time. This is a little bit momentous. It is time for moi. I come down with this. I, I have some of this routine has not changed. I discovered something was possible the other day when I was re literally rehearsing on here with the new HD because I wanted to make sure things were functioning in the same fashion. And so I will expand that. I will take this up. I will come over here like so. And I will come over to this, and we're just doing it like we normally do it. Bing, bang, boom, a uh, bull. And ladies and gentlemen, rise in 4K, the new rise, my rise. The rise I have taken ownership of. The rise I can't get title to because that's not how life works. But if the truth is illegal, then you can make something like this mine, can I not patent the rise? No one has patented the rise. I can take the rise. I can make it mine. Is that not true, motherfuckers? Boom! Oh, yeah. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good to do better than your, than your inspiration when you take something you were inspired by from someone else and you make it even better. That's the first rise in 4K. Very first ever, not the last, as long as we keep energy going, as long as um, power doesn't shut down, as long as someone doesn't break into my house, you know, a bunch of migrants and, and ransack everything. They'll fuck it all up, they will, you know they will. Gosh, that was fun. Golly gee whiz. Okay, I'll bring that sound out for you there, and I'm going to do this a little differently. I'm going to click on that, click on that, and go boom. Oh, see, no, did not fucking work that time. Fuck you. It worked the other day. Exactly what I did yesterday worked. This did not work. Rah! Inconsistency sucks dick. It does. A and I'm talking about just for myself because that would have gone off perfectly. Perfectly if it had worked like it did the other day. What was different about it? Why? Why, 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 when I selected that and tried to close out of it directly, did it try to close my video program that I'm working with? Uh, I had Safari selected. Damn you, Apple! Damn you! I mean, what I mean to say is, damn you, Apple! Damn you! Boom! I like it uh, sometimes when I hit the crash sound. And it is a crash sound. It's not an explosion sound. Some of those others who think I'm copying someone else, he has an explosion sound. Two of those guys have an explosion sound. Mine is a crash sound. It sounds more like a ton of trash hitting the wall or the street or something, and I just prefer my sound. It's more dramatic. Boom! That's right. So what? You got a problem with that, homeboy? All right, what do we have first and foremost do I want to go to? Oh, this is just a simple then and now, and I don't think it's a video. No, it's not a video. It's just a few ladies here. Um, I won't know the name. Okay, so this is Rose McGowan. She's kind of a, she was a beauty when she was younger, but she's a genuine weird lady, and I'll tell you why. You know why? Because... So look on the left here. She looks stunning on the left. B the black hair suits her. Over here on the right, the short hair with blonde, that does not suit her. And, and the lighting on both sides is a little bright. But she's stunningly beautiful. But what's weird about her to me is she dated Marilyn Manson. And any woman who dates Marilyn Manson, um, 
I'm inclined to say it's a detriment to your credibility. Like, you know, so I guess I, I know the way that, uh, what do you call it? So is this, there's no, there's no second pick after this. I just wanted to talk about her. She's gorgeous on the left. Like, she makes my heart thump on the left. And on the right, I'm like, eh. I, I would like, honest to God, I would like to see her with the same look on the right all these years later. 24 years later. God almighty, what 24 fucking years does to the beauty of a person. She's And she's still beautiful on the right, okay? She has still some objectively beautiful, stunning looks. I just think it's the look that I prefer on the left. And yes, I do like to critique beauty on here. She is, um, 90s moments. Let's go to this page see her and see if there's something cool to look at. 90s moments, okay? I see Jennifer Aniston in there meeting Prince, Prince uh, Eugenics. <laughs> and oh, that's one of the Spice Girls there. And I don't recognize anyone else, but oh, he's so happy to meet, meet people that he, his agenda is to exterminate uh, all of us. So, uh, anyone else I want to look at? Okay. That's Christine Aguilera. She's looking fine here. And I don't want to play the music cause I'll get the copyright strike, but she is someone, she's a perfect then and now example because now she's not looking so great. Time has done a number on her. She was such a stunning beauty when she was younger. And so I can't stand what has happened to Christina Aguilera. Spin City. Oh, I don't want to talk about that. Let's see. Anyone else? Oh, here's another one of Christina Aguilera. Looking amazing. I mean, like, gee, freaking whiz. Damn, time. I, but what, I want to hear her voice, too. I just don't want to bust up the copyright here. So, Back to the Front. Isn't that a song by Metallica, Back to the Front? I think it is. All right, so here's... Uh, what do I want to go to next here? I will first go to this clip of what's his noodle. Okay, hold on. I want to just cue it up properly here and go like so. I want to have the sound up. I'm doing everything to the book. I'm mixing the way I'm supposed to be mixing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I fucked it up. It's okay. Here we go. And this is, uh, let me just get in character here because I'm going to imitate this man a little bit as we go through. And it, I agree with his uh, problem here. We're, of course, talking about the famous actor Richard Dreyfus making some poignant observations about something, some comments about something, I should say. Starting in 2024, films will be required to meet new inclusion standards um, to be eligible for the Academy Awards for Best Picture. They'll have to have a certain percentage of actors or crew I love his from underrepresented here. racial and ethnic groups. What do you think of these new inclusion standards for films? They make me vomit. <laughs> Why? Hold on. I love that. They make me vomit. Hold on. They make me vomit. I'm trying to do my best impression of him. Okay, and I'm going to keep doing that as we go on. Cause... Because this is an this art is form. This is an art form. It's also it's also a, a form of commerce. A form of and commerce. It money and it makes but money. It's an art. But it's an art. And and no one no one should be should be telling me telling me as an artist as an artist that I have to that I have to give in to give the in to latest, the most latest current idea most current idea of what of morality, what morality is. is. And what are we and risking? What are, we risking? Are, we really are we risking really hurting, risking hurting, people's, feelings? hurting people's feelings? You can't legislate that. You can't that. legislate that. And, and, and you have to let, you have to life, let be life, life be life. And I'm sorry. And I'm I don't sorry. think, that, I don't think that there's a minority or a majority, or a majority of the country that has to be catered, that to, has like to, be catered to like that. You know, you know Laurence Olivier. Laurence Olivier. Was the last was the white last actor white to play actor Othello? To play Othello, and he did it in and 1965. And he did it in blackface. And he did it in blackface. And he played and he played a black man. A black man, brilliantly. Brilliantly. Am I being Am told, I being that, told I will never that I will have never have the chance to play, to play a, black, a man? black man? 
Is someone else someone being else told that, being if, told they're that Jewish, if they're not they Jewish, they shouldn't play, the, shouldn't play the Merchant of Venice? Are we crazy? Are we crazy? Do we not Do we know, not that, know art that art is art? Is art? This is so this is patronizing. So patronizing. It's so, it's it's so, so it's so thoughtless. It's so and, thoughtless. And, and treating people and, like and treating children. people like children. Okay, I love that. Actually, uh, so aside from picking on him, I'm I'm acting the role, and I think he's Jewish, and I should have the right as a white man to portray a Jewish man like that. I'm practicing my Richard Dreyfus for the biopic when I play him, and of course they're gonna have to put hair on my head because I'm bald as fuck. But that wasn't too bad, was it? I don't know if that, uh, as a impression, was worth a hill of beans, but I very much respect everything he said there. I agree with him wholeheartedly. And what? Oh, I see. <laughs> I know what I was doing with that. I have uh, this. I Oh, never mind. I will close that uh, so it doesn't happen again. But the the reason that happened was... I was experimenting with this HD camera, zooming in on my little birds here, because I have an idea to cut to them during the rise, like a close-up of them when the rise is happening with the TV going up behind them going dit dit dit. But so I enjoyed doing that. I thank Richard Dreyfus for the way he feels about that. He speaks for me on that one. Ladies and gentlemen, no objections to Richard Dreyfus saying that which he just said. Of course not. Why would I object? Now the sound is correct coming over here like that. See, you learn from your mistakes. Like uh, Sean T. from Beachbody Workout says, Yo, even professionals make mistakes. Even Paul makes mistakes sometimes mixing. This is a lot to carry all at once, yo. And as soon as I get other people in here, and I'm the one, the lone producer, talking and having to mix cameras to this person, that person, and someone online, God knows what. Professionals make mistakes, and I'm a professional that makes a motherfucking mistake. So don't you bust my balls about it, okay? Okay, I, at the end there, I, um, I sort of drifted out of my impression of Sean, but he's like, I know you can do this. Do another rep. Don't stop. I know you got this. <laughs> Continuing on. Oh, man. Me. Me, 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 this me. This is a very important lesson for the guys out there. Take a listen. The, the right, hypocritical so. part about it is that we make fun of girls all the time for not controlling their sexual urges and being hoes all the time. Like, she belongs to the streets, all this stuff. Uh, you tell I don't guys know. What I want to say is I don't know who this blue-haired dude is. And I know he must have a following. Otherwise, he wouldn't even be on Fresh and Fit. But I don't know who he is. And I find the fucking blue hair off-putting as fuck! I hate it! Boom! Do you understand? Blue hair? You gotta get attention with blue hair. Good for you, Mr. Blue Hair. Blue fucking hair. Talk about taking regular hair for granted. I would be happy with a regular head of hair. It doesn't have to be blue. And I'm, I'm speaking from the heart here. Why the fuck... You know, the only colored hair that works on anyone of that nature is on a super hot chick, and it's purely sexual. It's never cool. It's never fashionable. It's always someone, like, insecure who's dying to stand out. Like, world, I want to be the center of attention. World, I'm coloring my hair blue. Blue, fucking blue. But, okay, okay, let me be fair. All this decoration around me is to... Uh, accentuate what I'm doing here. I'm producing a visual that is cool, right? I think it is, anyway. I say that it's fucking cool! Boom! And... And quite frankly, so, does he feel not cool if he doesn't have blue hair? Because I'd feel cool if I just had a fucking head of hair. I'm compensating with my hat. But my hat is not blue hair. My hat is not taking for granted having hair. If I had hair, I wouldn't be wearing the hat. I'd take this fucking hat off and throw it against the wall and be like, check me out. I'd be the hottest fucking 50-year-old out there if I had a fucking head of hair. But I got my mother's maternal fucking male pattern balding coming from my grandfather on that side. God rest his soul. Would have loved to have met that guy, but he gave me the bald gene. Did he not? Grandpa Louie, you left me the bald gene. Boom! 
And I'm not knocking him, okay? <laughs> like, for God's sake. I'm just being silly as fuck on purpose. <laughs> Boom. We need to continue with this. Boy, do I get distracted easily. Everyone deserves a beauty critique for their bullshittery. And, I, and you, sir, and your blue hair, I say bullshittery! God! Uh, excuse me, I hate that hair. I hate it! I hate your fucking blue hair! I fucking hate it! <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen. When I begin, I know not whereeth I go. And you have just found out whereeth I go. And it's somewhat true. I, I'm not really full of hate for your hair. I don't like it. It's annoying. Something about you annoys me with the blue motherfucking hair. You know what I did once? Um... Years ago in Italy, I want to say it was the spring of 2001, yes, because I was in Bologna, and uh, a cousin of mine, she bleached my hair, so it kind of had, it was dark hair at the time, I was not bald, it was gold. It was gold, it wasn't, a gold, she didn't bleach my hair, we bleached my hair, and so the combination of the dark hair I had with the bleach made it kind of look like a very gold blonde, and it looked cool as fuck, and she took this mousse! And she spiked it up in every single direction, and it was awesome. And if I still had fucking hair, that's exactly what I would still fucking do. I would go for punk rocker head, spiked out in every direction, and probably still have that gold color hair. And at that time, I bleached my goatee down here. It was a long goatee. It was a full goatee at the time. And I dyed it red. Fire engine red. <laughs> Not nearly as crazy as what you're doing, but I, I recall. I seem to recall my dad just kind of being like, um... Eh, you do strange things. <laughs> it's true, I did. And I, if I still had that kind of hair, I would still engage in that look. But the blue hair on top. Okay, so blonde. My hair was blonde. It looked natural blonde. It was a great golden kind of shade. Uh, but this blue, this fucking blue, that's unnatural. You're unnatural, bro. Yeah, I'm fucking ripping on you. I don't even know who you are. Somebody's going to figure this out and they're going to say, listen to this guy ripping on blue head, okay? I'm envious that you have hair, but I'm also critical that you take your fucking hair for granted and you put it in that despicable color blue like that, okay? You're not a bad looking guy otherwise. So why? what are you compensating for when God gave you the perfect fucking jeans? Your hair's going to fall out, by the way, Mr. Youngster. You keep bleaching it and doing that nasty blue like that. Your shit's going to fall out and you're going to be bald just like me when you make it to 50 years old. Enjoy that shit, bruh. Oh, don't be derisive. You're calling him bruh. Yeah, well, I'm making fun of his hair, Jordan. Well, even still, you should just do it in a very kind way. It's all about being uh, polite and having decorum. You can use your intellect to convey what you want to convey, but don't say, Oh, shut the fuck up. I know what I'm doing, Jordan. This is my show. I'll do whatever the fuck I fucking want. Shut up! Onward! I haven't even gotten to the substance, the meat and potatoes of this video. Time will run out on me, you blue head. I just blew like five minutes on you. The losers if and they I don't. enjoyed it. So just so you know, for as much as I'm carrying on passionately, angrily about saying how much I hate his hair and I, I am very much annoyed by his hair, I just decided to go down that rabbit hole and indulge in that for fun. So am I really angry? Am I really hateful? No, sir. I'm grateful to you. It's weirdos like you that inspire me to go off like that and do my shtick, do my thing. Not sorry for my shtick. I'm going to fucking flex my stick until I'm dead. Okay. The gym, they're losers if they play video games. You're a loser if you smoke weed. You're a loser if you watch sports. You need to exercise discipline. But when it comes to girls, oh shit, get a vasectomy because you can't control yourself. Because you're not capable of exercising discipline. Why do you have to be disciplined in every single aspect of life? Networking, success, all this stuff. Watching sports, playing video games. You need to be on your stuff. But for women... Nut inside girls with after getting a transgender surgery. That's the one thing you can't be disciplined Sneeko, in. Nico, can you start fucking girls? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Stop the cat. Hold it to her right now. Can you don't stop fuck until you get married? Girls. Well, no. No, no, no. Better no, no, advice. No, no. You better just advice. said you can hold it. So don't fuck until you get married. Better advice is. No, no, no. I swear to God. What, right you're, now. you're saying no. Are you cool with that? 
Has Seiko fucked a girl before? Yes. Has he had a vasectomy? No. Does he have any kids? No. He, he's been bombed. There you go. He was, he was, he was plan B. So he would have had a kid, which means he's going to fuck up at some point. Hey, we're he human. And they still, sell plan, they still sell plan B. No, no, but I the point is it. that is the point. He, he's he, able to fuck girls, not have a vasectomy, and still not have kids. It's what possible. What did number two say? Avoid pharma creation. It could be con or plan B, but he's just saying to be yeah. extra Another careful. form of contraception. Is what it is basically. But he didn't say that, and that's that's not a good form of contraception because it's not supposed to be reversed. That's what the doctor tells you when you get a vasectomy surgery. It's like you cannot expect supposed this to be, be permanent. Reverse. That's they, not. They, that you shouldn't go into that thinking that you're going to reverse it. And also, a better advice yeah. instead of saying never fuck again, maybe for the women that I do have sex with, prepare that she could be the mother of your children. Maybe don't spend time with hoes all the time thinking I need to fuck fifty girls so I understand feminists and how retarded they are. Maybe just don't fuck them. Maybe <clears> I fuck think women. he's making a great point here. Um. That in order to understand women and gain a mature understanding of women, you don't have to fuck through a, a fucking armada of whores in order to have that insight about them. It's an excuse, actually. It, it starts becoming an excuse at some point. And so you should go through the motions of having sincere relationships in order to gain wisdom, but not just fuck a million girls' uh loosely promiscuously and claim that you're learning something by it what like we don't already know that a lot of people and human beings are shallow and of course it includes a good number of women as well we don't know that i think we know that you can see yourself having a family with okay this is beautifully said it's a fantastic yeah, discussion it's insightful. Um, i really i strongly encourage you to go watch the full fresh and fit episode i thought it was um something a very important moment. i love hearing when she's talking like she's from brooklyn immediately i have to start sticking on brooklyn when jedediah when she says i thought i'm like i thought i'm like i love it when you say i thought i love it when you say it like that you're so distinct you're so distinguished i'm looking for a jedediah I'm looking to build up my value, but you know what? She points out a lot of things men do that don't exactly convey a lot of high value. Like, women want a high value man. I do some things that Jedediah says are not high value, and I'm not even going to confess to what they are to all of you because that would be embarrassing to me and would be diminishing my value. I have to pretend until I have a woman ensnared in my layer, in my web. And then be like, okay, these are the low value things I do. And I tricked you into marrying me. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh man. In this whole I am state. a stickzilla today. And the HD is, it feels like it's upping my game. I feel like I have to do more and more to, to have some kind of presence here today. And, and let me just continue with what she's saying. Looks like she's got a face of pleasure. Like that's a, that's a sex face right there where it's like, oh my God. You get those weird looks on your face when you're doing it because it's like, ah. Oh. Of people interacting um, that people need to see. And I'm going to ask Roll about it when he comes. Uh, I don't know if he's coming next week or the week after with Mike uh -oh. Sartain, but I'm going to ask uh -oh. him about it, even though it'll be a little removed. I think this was a moment that changed people uh, in many ways. First of all, and this comes off of the heels of that tweet that Rolo had pulled it, put out that went viral about vasectomies and whatnot. First yeah. of all, the tweet where he claims to have been baiting people. I have I have to keep rolling with this because I have more to say about that. Vasectomy is not a form of contraception in the right. same way. You cannot loop a vasectomy like, in the point with is you can The point of a vasectomy is more to like sterilize yourself so that you don't have to worry about getting women pregnant. And it's not it's not done it's not something that is just so easily reversible. Of course they have success stories when they have reversed it. But it is not just automatically reversible. It depends on the person. Circumstances can vary greatly. And you might fucking be making yourself permanently sterile. And it might fuck up your fucking junk, like your production of testosterone cutting off that uh, pipeline down there to the balls. Loop a vasectomy in with birth control pills that you take. You can't. A vasectomy isn't always reversible. There are yeah, risks. It's a surgery. 
Um, off, I have known people actually that have had that procedure done and they have tried to reverse it and they have not been successful. It's very Sad. extreme. There are some in medicine that believe that it does unkind things to the way testosterone uh, right. floats around in That's the male body for longevity and can implicate you know your health in negative ways. Of course. Um, it shouldn't be treated lightly. It shouldn't Hello, be like, Mr. oh, Common yeah, sense. you know, wear a condom, get a vasectomy. It's not in the same class. Number of course. One. Jeez, Secondly, Louise. I also hear it's quite t- painful when you get that snip. It swells up and it's sore down there. I don't want to do anything like that. You never know what's going to happen in life. So you could live for decades and suddenly realize you want a kid. And then you're like, why did I do that when I was younger? Like, so you don't want to go get a vasectomy. Guys. I don't know what, Rollo was just trying to bait people into something stupid, apparently, is what he claimed in a response, tweet response to me. And I just, um, and part of me is like, or was he saying something stupid where there was a backlash and he's like, oh, quick, do damage control. People didn't like what I said. I don't know. I have a tendency to think he's honest most of the time. Talking about, about promiscuity is true. He's yeah. not saying, by the way, never have sex. That argument of like, well, then don't have sex until you're married. You can choose to do that. Uh, you, there are religious people who choose to do that, but that's not what he's saying. What he's saying is that if discipline is viewed as an attribute of a high value man, I personally believe that it is. I think a yeah, disciplined man is incredibly sexy. I think a discipline. Uh, do you know, uh, along those lines, this is not a joke. Every day when I pray, Every time I do my long form prayer, which I, I do, I hopefully do once every morning, the long form, I pray for self-discipline and that's honest to God, the truth. And it's not easy. And I even tell myself, these words have to mean something. I can't just say it and hope that it comes true. It's like, I have to be part of that action. And I have a, uh, I have a personal responsibility in the transaction of my prayer for personal discipline. And that should be appealing to certain women, I think, that personal discipline is important to me. It's why I don't drink alcohol anymore. It's why I don't smoke pot anymore. Like, because I recognize those things are not the best for my life. And so, um, you know what I want to do, actually, is I want to close out of this. And in all er- And I want to I want to keep going on to my next clip, which is some kind of... Okay, so here's a... a thing where Sneeko and Rolo go at one another. I don't know what was going on here. I don't know what the the name... So it's the same episode where Blue Hair Guy was... Yeah, I'm calling him Blue Hair Guy. I don't fucking know who he is, and I'm not especially impressed with his intellectual prowess. Not like I am mine. I tend to favor mine uh, over Blue Haired Guys. So here, these guys are really pissy with one another right here, and I want to go through this. 100%. 100%. 100%. If, if I wanted to learn how to become a successful man, I'd go to Rolo before going to Sneeko or Destiny, uh, two grown-ass men who argue like teenage boys. All right, so 50... 50- okay, so I, I want to just respond to that. I've learned shit tons from Rolo, and I wish to God I had read his material when I was like 19 years old. It would have fucking charted a path in my life that would have saved me a lot of fucking trouble the way I went about dating in this world simultaneously dating with drinking a lot. It was always like drinking that that um, that helped me alleviate my inhibitions to get me to talk to women. And uh, drinking, 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 loved it. But anyway, uh, the point I'm making is that Sneeko, I can't speak to his body of work comprehensively as much as I can Rolo, because I've read four out of five of Rolo's books. Sneeko, I've heard say a lot of insightful things, including talking to Jedediah last week. But I'm I'm bewildered by these two going at one another here, and I want to take you back to that right now. You're a guy calling us douche nozzles to someone who's like three times younger. That's a mature way to argue. Damn. If that's your idea, then okay. Wow. Shots fired. That's just what See, happened on the show. Yeah, and and so they're insulting with one another and. So my personal feeling is, my take from this is, I don't even know what they're arguing about. But but what I want to say is, I've gotten something out of both of them. And fucking A, I don't mind the guys screw around. I do my fucking shtick here. I'm I'm an ass on here. And so I can't like say, oh, you young, immature guys. Like, if you meet me 
when I'm not doing this, you'll notice that I'm a much more serene, subdued individual. I turn it up on here on purpose because to me it's performance art and it's therapeutic for me to feel good like that. But so I'm, I'm not like I made fun of blue hair guy. I think that's a horrible fucking mistake. It immediately makes me think the dingbat or something like that. I just don't like it. <laughs> blue hair. Even if I had hair, I couldn't see myself having blue hair uh, or, or like that fire engine red hair. Uh, but let me just continue with what these guys are saying here because it's an interesting exchange. This is a great, a great debation. I, do you have anything to say? Like you, you called in. Great debation. Where can they find y'all? Oh, <laughs> I mean, they and, and I want to say, um, so like I, I'm not impressed by you guys arguing with one another because in a certain way, both of you have something to convey to other men, other young men, other men, period, um, about living a better life. You want to help encourage people to become better people. And so this is just a drama playing out that doesn't help anybody. It's just a sensationalized bickering match that that doesn't teach me anything, except that I don't want to... Except, you know, I go after and dump on people too. I admit my hypocrisy in that. But I just think you guys, you shouldn't be doing this. I want to see them sit down in front of one another and have a good conversation because usually over, over the uh, video chat people would have a tendency to be more sensational. If they sit down with one another, they'll probably find a better mutual respect for one another. But we plugged him out of the yeah, go, yeah, go back to Twitch. That's, that's some advice for you. That's some real <laughs> advice for you guys. You guys have no business fucking being in any of this shit right here. You're not ready to have a fucking adult conversation. Everything I've seen, you, is, I've like, seen you chatting you more than any good. other name. And the chat, I chat like whenever I stream, which is when I'm online, and you're in there more than me. True. So calling us Twitch, actually, I'm banned on there. I'm on Rumble. But yeah, I mean, if you want to pull the online card, then maybe get off the internet a little bit and chat in all day. Douche nozzle. It's a lot See, harder when it's not just like not 22 year old women being ganged up on a podcast. So like, what, what good does it do anyone who's a fan of either one of you to hear Sneeko call Rolo douche nozzle, to hear Rolo complain those guys are immature and whatnot? You're not helping anybody right now. You're entertaining me, but you're not helping me become a better man. It's a little bit disconcerting watching you guys go at each other. Because, like, oh. you see Rollo get pissed off. No, I'll be happy times. to fucking debate you, dude, Wait, on any topic Let's you want. Let's speed this we up. Right now. Yeah, but, we, we just did. <laughs> no, you're talking about this one fucking tweet is what you're talking about. Well, we were talking to the godfather of Red Pill. trying yeah, to. Yeah, and, 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 speaking of fucking, and speaking of fucking tweets, and, or excuse me, and speaking of fucking super chats, was that not you on whatever podcast? Oh, okay, that's yeah, too, like, too, <laughs> that's too Thank you very much. Thank you for submitting. Oh, man, so, you're, you're really pissed. You're talking way too fast. So, it seems like you're watching a lot more guy. Blue hair guy, you have nowhere, you have nothing to say because you have blue hair. I'm discriminating against you because you have blue hair, blue hair guy. Oh, what? what's that a good idea you have? Shut up, Mr. Blue Hair! And, and I'm just taking the side of Rolo because I, I don't know what the hell you've contributed to anything. Blue hair guy has an opinion. Blue hair guy whose history I have no idea about. I have no idea about any history of blue hair guy. Hey, blue hair guy. Nice hair. Oh my God, that's a you're a South Park episode to me. The program I've ever been on. It's insane. You should get a tax credit for like watching me. What? <laughs> Bro, do you have anything to say? <laughs> Who is blue hair like guy? I don't even know. Okay. I thought you'd have a rap. It's like, it's like, no, you got. Let's see. You, you say here's the thing: is you guys. I've first of all, I've thrown out this. Swear in his car after the show. First of all. <laughs> what? Okay, if you guys yeah. want to come what? to Vegas, come to Vegas. We'll sit across the table from each other. No, and we're build up your fucking dog shit podcast. What are you talking about? Come to Miami. Dumb ass. All right, I'm closing out of this. I'm closing out of this because blue haired guy doesn't shut the fuck up. Like you need uh, blue haired guy disrespecting Rollo is like Britney Spears disrespecting Einstein or something compared to what your contributions are to the body of work that Rolo has like, give me a break, dude, blue hair guy. Um, there's something continuing on, on this topic. I'm not quite sure that where this will take me. I haven't checked this, but someone recommended this to me. It's the same, uh, it's the full fucking video that we were just watching from fresh and fit. And I have some timelines. Someone online pointed out to me it was very kind of them to point out to me. Um, one of, 
pause this really quick and see the first timeline I must go to is it was told to go to 1842 1842 1842 what shut up 1842 bastard piece of shite don't mess with my time I only have so much time left why why fucker why I'm fucking clicking on the timeline where I want it to play. Piece of shite. Play. Can't, like, if you could tell me specifically where I've changed my... Of course, like, I have a different... I usually scream at you and I'm like, let's argue about it. Okay. 1842, so, 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 where are Destiny's we? Wife's boyfriend? I'm fucking 30 yeah. seconds away from where I want to be. Don't let him on TikTok, and then you could be able to hold fight on, back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck this. I'm going to go to 53... 20 instead because that failed me 53 20 play you have most of the leverage and you need to care about the relationship less than she does is my point okay every in every relationship one person is needed more than the other no i'm saying the woman should need you more than you need her this is that's my argument horrible relationship advice <laughs> This is okay. dark because right. at some point you have to make the decision to say, I'm going to start investing mm -hmm. a scary amount of emotional and physical and psychological resources into this relationship to make it work. Any good relationship is going to have that investment such that if it ends, it's going to suck. If you go into a relationship with this thought process of like, I need to be able to leave this through at any fucking point I want to be fine or whatever, you're never going to get a good relationship. Those aren't good relationships. Or I feel like I walk away at any point in time and I don't give a fuck. At some point, you're you're like the whole point of like a relationship where you really love each other is some amount of like vulnerability and, and, and trust in <laughs> each other to not like fuck up, right? See, I see where you're coming from, right? Yeah, but, that's the coming from the trying to but, maintain but a healthy on. relationship. No, yeah. no, no, I get that. But that's why I'm saying, like, because you can, I want guys to be in a position that even if they love a girl and they really like her, they can still walk away from her if she uh -huh. does some dumb shit. And you get that from having a bunch of That's not mindset. love, though. You're not building, like, good relationships there. You can absolutely love someone and still walk away from them when they do stupid shit. 100%. If you can just walk away. You have to. That, but, that, you, but, you, you, but that's what I'm trying to say. Guys need to have that skill set. Because most guys end up sitting in stupid ass relationships that they don't want to be in with girls that disrespect them, that treat them poorly, that do a bunch sure, of fuck there's shit. There's a difference between because you they have a scarcity that, mindset. Sure, you, people, no, that's because they're fucking retarded, right? You can say maybe part, part of it might be a scarcity mindset. Some people stay in bad relationships for way too long. But if you go in trying to set it up, it's like, I can walk away from but this the, whatever what, I want. What is the reason that they stay? Why do guys stay in bad relationships so much? It's because of scarcity mindset. It's, why do girls get over relationships of, way faster than guys? Because girls don't have a natural scarcity mindset like men do. Destiny, you mentioned love, I, right? I, I don't even think that's true that girls get over relationships way faster than guys because you guys on here are talking all the oh, time about man. like oh well the reason why i don't want to date a girl that's older is because she's got all this trauma from all these other relationships well, on, how, is a, how is a woman simultaneously traumatized by every relationship she has but also gets over them really quick blue hair guy to me my impression of him is that he's blue pill as fuck like the, the hair is apropos you're not red pilled you're blue pilled therefore you have blue hair but like and so the note i have here is that he's disrespecting either Myron uh, or the Fresh and Fit podcast or the audience here. And I do think women do get over men more quickly. That is like, I think that's an um, evolutionary biology thing. Women move on. That's also the nature of the hypergamy that is a popular topic in the manosphere. Women want to move on to bigger and better things, higher value men. And so they get over a man when they find another man who's higher value and I think that undermines the argument that blue hair guy is saying. Blue hair guy. Honest to God, I don't know his name. I should know his name, maybe. Uh, but he, you're just blue hair guy to me. No, but here's blue the thing. Hair, why blue do women break guy. up most, most of the time? Because they have another guy lined up. Which, Hold which on. If they break up most of the time, does that imply the other one is the one fucking up? Isn't that no, what the implication no. would be? Because they want to leave. When you Hold on. If, if, I, if I were to tell if you. I were to tell you uh, that, if I were to tell you that. Uh, no. In, okay, in I got to do my thing. Relationships, you know, this partner, partner has left, this like, partner has uh, left, you know, like 50, 60, 70% of the time. Wouldn't you assume it's because the other one is fucking up? Assume it's because the other one's fucking up? That's on a normal case. See, I can fucking, do it. I can actually repeat what Richard Drives is saying in a very clear and concise way. This guy kind of like this, and he goes very fast, and he, and he zips over this and that, and I can't even hear it in order to repeat him to make fun of him. Why Blue do hair guy talks too bored. quickly. They don't feel like it anymore. They have other options. Bored and don't feel like it anymore are good reasons to leave a relationship. If you feel like you're bored in a relationship, you don't like the relationship, of course you should leave. Why should that's, you stay there? That's why, as for men, you said, <laughs> you, you mentioned earlier love, right? What yeah, is love? Why love is freedom. Right there. Why should you just stay there? to walk away is powerful. Love it. Hold on. Love is hold not on. the freedom to walk away from your partner. It is. 
That's not true. Love is an obligation to your partner. That supersedes if your you personal love freedom. Somebody, That's the whole point of like, don't we say like fucking women and children first and like men dying for their family and their country? Blue and pill, like, white like, knight. I feel like this is some blue shit pill, where like, white you know, knight. Take a Boom. Boom. The guy's got to stay if he loves her, but the girl can leave because if it's true, the woman man. should leave. Well, well, man. Like, the woman loves her partner. So this is, this is really not a, a manosphere guy here. Blue haired guy is, he's your typical, I mean like, Deaf Noodles and Blue Hair Guy ought to have a baby together. <laughs> um, if you know what I'm talking about, Deaf Noodles also uh, was covering that video that I was playing before where Rolo and Blue Hair Guy and Sneeko were going at it, calling one another names. And, and fucking definitely Deaf Noodles is in the camp of Blue Hair Guy uh, hating on Rolo. It's another, like, and and Deaf Noodles was like another Britney Spears calling Einstein stupid. If you compare the accomplishments and the intellect of the two. I have all this backwash right now. I had a delicious legendary lunch. Also shouldn't leave. But if people are getting bored uh, or don't like the relationship anymore, so, for a guy or a girl, I yeah, mean, I guess leave. he is disrespecting people because he's, he's, he's definitely coming at this argument in... A very self-righteous fashion. 53, 56, okay. I think I'm beyond wanting to. So this would probably, this kind of discourse would go on till a minute or two. And a minute eight, I want to go to actually an hour eight minutes. And I want to hear what they're saying there. And then I'll wrap this particular clip up. Play you bastard. And like it's not like her dating options are vast. And if you again, if you look at the research, men afterwards will fare better in getting into relationships better than women do, who are single dads versus single moms. But they're still broke though. They're not. Why are they broke? Divorce. They hurt. Divorce well, they, doesn't they, break they, they, you they, all the time. That's not true. You guys look at the most extreme example. Well, also, eighty-five oh, percent of men have to pay child support after divorce. And again, the average child support. Blue hair guy is showing how immensely ignorant he is. Hey, so you know, I don't have a prefabricated bias. Uh, except that I'm biased against your blue hair. You know, I don't discriminate against race, religion, usually. But blue hair, I'm discriminating. Four hundred. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for the yeah, average bro, guy. Bro, if I'm people. making that's only a thousand bucks a month uh, every two weeks, bro, that's a lot of money. If for you're me. making a thousand bucks every two weeks, you're not paying four hundred and fifty bucks in child support. Well, you said that's the average. That's for, the average I said that's the average, and you're giving me like the lower end of like what men are making. That's a lot of money for a lot of guys who are watching the show right now. Uh, yeah. Probably, but a lot of guys watch the show right now Shit. have never touched a girl in their lives. So, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hey, and then you're also getting child support again. Don't take that from him, bro. You are so first person going to touch your dick is a doctor to the machine. Don't take that from him, bro. You. Our stud, bro. Look how are you going to say, how are you going to say that there's no guys that are going to take a single mom seriously? Blue hair guy. Does that blue hair somehow convey the value that allows you to hook up in this world? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Blue hair guy has a Twitch. Like, what's the link to it? Can someone provide me the link to his Twitch? Then also make fun of 20,000 people watching and say that these guys aren't fucking. Oh my God, but of course they're going to go settle minutes. down with the single mom if they got the chance. If you're calling these loser guys who can't get a girl, if they find a hot girl who has a kid, they're going to go and settle according to your logic. Yeah. Guys, like uh, the video. I mean, man. the numbers don't like lie, but yeah. 20K watching. Yeah, like, like it. Like, How many likes do we have on this video? I don't know. But uh, check. Some, some probably went, uh, so, some dislikes probably came after that. That's fine. <laughs> okay. uh, and there are divorce parties. I've, I've seen a lot of them on social media. Women celebrate that. They have their new thing in their 40s. I'm 21 forever. They celebrate this thing. It's actually encouraged I mean, a lot of it, women like that. It's simple because, uh, like I said, as feminism has gotten stronger and stronger, women are able to, you know, leave relationships, et cetera, and things have changed. The sexual uh, uh, marketplace has changed. Women have initiated mm, more and more divorces, bro. Like, it's... Women this are idea that, like, nowadays to, The idea to that women like divorce and like to initiate it, it's like fun. It's they just like, like being single? Wild. No, they, they, they like getting out of a bad it. relationship. Dude, but it blue hair guy sounds extremely naive. Women do initiate most fucking divorces, and they start thinking about cashing prizes, ch cashing out for fucking prizes. And the system favors the women in that equation. So women have kids. They have their indentured slave guy who has to pay up. Who was? The, it's crazy how you're the provider. You're doing the right thing. And then all of a sudden, someone gets to say, I've been sitting on my ass and I get to maintain this lifestyle. Well, if you're divorced, you should be on your own, in my opinion. You should have to fucking carry your own weight. You get used to a certain lifestyle. This is why government should, be, should not be involved in fucking marriage. Um, 
I just don't think government should be the arbiter of how things wind up. You make choices in your life. People would stay married if it weren't for the government making it a default de facto win for ladies for the most part. Ah, whatever. I'm wrapping this one up. I had fun today. The hour flew by. If you like this, I appreciate you liking the video, sharing the video, telling your friends about it, cutting clips, posting them on YouTube. Make this content your own. Just point people back to me. That's my requirement. Um, you want to take clips from this content that you think were interesting, post them on your own page? By all means, do that. I would appreciate that. Help me build my following here. And, and I will actually be grateful to you for that. It's not like I need to fuss about people using my content. All right, everyone. Share these videos. Listen to it while you do busy work at home. And you know what? As I always say, I love the 4K. In 4K, peace be with you all. Hey, hey. Copy who in 4K? George Takei. <laughs> oh no, he goes, how does George Takei... George Takei is like... <laughs> Captain. <laughs>